Good afternoon, my name is Brian Chapman. Um, I'm owner and operator of Willamette Weapon Lures. I started doing this back in 1997. Uh, I found a need for it because I couldn't find lures that, I couldn't find the, the colors of lures that I needed in fishing stores. So I, I actually worked at a tackle shop and the stores, that even my own shop didn't have the colors that I really needed that I thought matched the local bait fish, the ones that the bass were eating. And so, I started painting lures to look more lifelike than what I could find in the store. And that's what got me started doing this. I spend time studying the crawdads. I spend time always pursuing being a better fisherman. And doing this job allows me to spend the time studying the forage, studying the actual fish themselves, you know, how they see, what they're, you know, what their movements are and why they're doing it. And so it kind of lets me have two things. I get to have a job that I love and it helps me be a better fisherman at the same time. This is actually the first, one of the first bait, uh, crawdad patterns that I ever painted. I've gotten way better at it over the last 20 plus years of painting. Um, and that just comes with practice and repetition. But th the original basis was orange belly, red side, dark back. And that's the general profile for a red crawdad. And so that's what worked for me. And I still paint this to this day and it's still one of my very best colors that I use and throw and sell. And so it, that just fired me up because I was able to actually, I knew that I was throwing the right color. And it eliminated the, eliminated the, am I throwing the right color? You know, on the shelves, you look at them and you see white, you see chartreuse, you see red crankbaits, you see, um, you know, Rapa uh, Rapala was a really popular one back in the 90s. It was just a silver side with a black back. And that was just so generic and everyone was throwing it. Well, now I had custom colors that I, thought looked just like the bait fish or the crayfish that the fish were eating and I had something that nobody else had so it was special to me. And so the first pattern that I ever came up with, I actually came up with two simultaneously. One was a threadfin shad and I just started using a combination of a pearl white paint and uh, a lead pencil and a yellow highlighter. And I just started, do, I started making it look more like the bait fish. Um, I have a passion for fishing. I love, uh, next to my family, fishing is the next, <laughs> the next thing. It, I love to fish and I've, I've loved to fish ever since I was a little kid. And my dad would take me out to the, um, out to the levees and go fish for, you know, catfish and bass and striped bass. And we'd go fish out at the piers. And when I, when we actually moved down to the Bay Area from Oakley, um, I, one of my neighbors really liked to fish as well. And so we started fishing together and we were fished a lot. I mean, we fished almost every day 